learning halacha oifen betzias apad the way you should uh, cut the bread. Yevoy chalikikar sholem you should uh, say a bracha. You should try to say a bracha on, on a full, complete piece of bread. If he doesn't have a full piece of bread, at least it should be on a, on a, s- a complete slice. If you don't have a complete uh, loaf, you should at least say the bracha on a complete uh, slice. And you should hold it in your right hand, and after you should say the bracha, holding it in your right hand. When it comes to uh, when it comes to if you have a, a whole loaf, it's even better to hold it with your two hands, two hands together, and say the bracha. Your ten fingers. Um, and then only after the bracha, then you should uh, cut the bread. Well, you score it beforehand for ownership, right? What do you mean? Like for, for Shabbos or Yom Tov, you always score one for ownership. Oh, it, uh, and then you, no, it, and then you say you, you know, this is just a, like a marking, right, like right, a little right, mark. Right. But uh, the, the idea is that it's better to say bracha on something that is complete than something that is uh, like cut. If it's half a loaf, you have half a loaf, and, and a complete loaf, it's better to say the bracha on a complete loaf. Right. And if you have only one slice of bread, or if the bread is sliced, it's better to say a bracha on a complete slice, holding it with your right hand. Mm-hmm. The bread, if you have a whole loaf, it's better to hold the two hands together. Um, because of the, because of honoring the, the blessing, he has to uh, start to cut the loaf in a place where it's uh, baked, uh, it's, it's baked better. So if you see an area that it's, it's better baked than the other, then you should choose, you should go for that area. Mm-hmm. Put everything to the like you're looking the more crispy, uh, uh, looking, the looking better. Right. Put everything to the right is more holier. You know, right, but, uh, uh, but so, so uh, you, you should position it to begin with that it should be on the right, the size that, that, is, the, that is baked. And when you cut, uh, he said the place that it's baked better, he calls it the place, sometimes uh, the uh, dough starts to bake from one area faster than, right. than the other. So you should cut it from that area where it started to bake first. Um, now when you, when you cut the, the bread from a f- complete, uh, let's say it was a whole loaf, even if at the time of baking it was attached to the other bread, sometimes they're attached together. You should always look for the place where it looks complete and not the place where they are where attached to, to each other. In, uh, in bagels, they tell you if, if you want, if you don't want to cut yourself, you should look for the place where it was attached. So this way there's a little bit more yeah, of a, a grip. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and on the, the, the shiny side, it's mm-hmm. more slippery. Right. You will put the knife, it could, uh, God forbid. Right. So, but over here is the opposite. We should look at the place that is not attached to, not the area where the, the bread attached to the, the other loaves. When you bake at home, you have the luxury of putting the loaves uh, af- far from each other so th- there's, no, there's no attachments. But in, in bakeries, a lot of the times they're all, even when they make rolls, you see all the rolls are attached to each right. other right. and then they just separate them. Mm-hmm. So it, it, in truth, is it a full, uh, co- even a complete loaf? It looks like a complete loaf, but it could be not because it was attached to the other, the other loaf <coughs> and it was separated before. Some say that even if there's a lot of sesame and you, you just like scrape off some of the sesame, it's not a complete bread anymore because you took something that was on it <coughs> and it's not any, no longer there. Mm-hmm. What do you um, think about the pull apart fellows? You know, where they'll, they'll be little, almost yeah, like rolls. But then you say the bracha on the whole, the thing. whole thing. Yeah, right, that's, right, that's right. for you one challah, and then you, you, you cut what, it into two. That's what my last I'm used to whipping when I She's doing the little one, and we have the rolls. Ones. That's mm-hmm. right, we both, but yeah, we have the one light cut, so. Yeah, so. Just it, take it, it, challah to bake it, yeah. Right, so the, the challah that you say the bracha on, that's the challah that you eat. Right, right. yeah, you, I eat. You, you eat, I eat. And you give your, you give your, your I family. So, 
<coughs> so the halacha is you shouldn't uh, you shouldn't cut in the place where, where it was connected to the other challah. They don't tell you don't use this challah. You can use this challah, but don't cut it from that area. Now you should cut a, a slice of uh, a slice of bread, not too big, because it then look like it's looking like a gluttony. So what is the uh, what is the normal size? It tells you that it's the size of an egg without its shell. And from this uh, slice, you can cut a smaller piece, like a size, a size of a half a kazait, and it shouldn't look like he's too uh, cheap at the same time. So you have to find like in the middle of the ground, not too big and not too small. Uh, if it's a sudat mitzvah, if it's a, a festive meal, and for the sake of a mitzvah, then you should cut a big piece. Uh, our custom is to dip the bread three times in the salt, and not to shake off the salt from the bread. Only three times. Uh, one second, but halachically, today, he doesn't have to wait, uh, when he says the bracha, he doesn't have to wait uh, to the salt. You can say the bracha even before dipping the salt. Because today, they're adding uh, salt to bread anyway. Mm -hmm. There's salt uh, embedded in the, in the dough. And when you eat, you already have the flavor of, of the uh, salt. Mm -hmm. But if you want, you're allowed to wait until they, they bring uh, salt to the table. You're allowed to wait. If there's no salt on the table and you said, I'm waiting to lechem in you're allowed to wait until they bring you the salt. If right. you have someone that uh, you pointed to someone or you, you asked someone to bring the salt, they, obviously not with your mouth. If you said the bracha, if you didn't say the bracha, obviously you can wait for it. My cousin says, Please. in Israel, he says, doesn't, it's the one as the rabbi, he said, doesn't ever ask for anything. He says, whatever they serve him, they give him, doesn't ask. I know what I'm saying for you, you and your family, and not talking about you no, you're be, uh, being no. hosted by someone, but yeah, uh, you yeah. and your family. It's better to have one big loaf or two slices, just two, two loaves better than one loaf. Would, 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 would two slices be better than one loaf? And what about no, for Shabbos, Shabbos two, two loaves is the, is the right way to go. And uh, regular day, when you say bracha on a piece of bread, if you have a, a roll or something that is complete, it's better than something that is sliced. If you have a, 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 a full piece, full piece of bread, a whole loaf, you can say bracha on it and then cut the, the slice. If it's already sliced, it's sliced. And then you also have elevation. The idea is to hold it with your mm -hmm. right hand. Is there a thing about tearing? Is it cutting in the midst of cutting the loaf? The there are different cut? customs. Some, 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 have, like some have the customs not to use a knife. Some have the custom to use, to, to, to rip like it with their the hands. Line, some do it with their hands. And, and some do some use a knife that is non serrated because it's considered like a, right. a, destroying, a, a destroying instrument. So oh, yeah. they use a knife that is not yeah. non serrated. I use a knife. My father used the knife, and I use a knife. It's all right. Is, yeah. is it serrated? No. No, not serrated? No. Got it. Not, no, no, no. really, I don't know. Most of the cutting boards have straight knives I've ever seen. I don't remember. Yeah, yeah you can get one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, not here, but you can find it. You can find some knives that are not serrated. But then you also have other elevations. The more, like, if you're doing Shabbos by yourself, Better off having some guest come over. Yes, of course. Here, the blessing you get the amen. You get the zimun. You can do a zimun. Right. 